We've got another hot one for you. Thanks for coming back to the channel. We've got three torch tricks to go over today. Yeah, we're gonna do some sheet metal stuff and then you're doing something with a bolt. Something with a bolt, some sitting, you're gonna do some annealing. Got some really fancy tricks with a Victor torch today. We're gonna use this Rebel as well to do a little bit of MIG welding. Stay tuned, we've got a nice one. Sooty. All right, so we kind of welded this piece of sheet metal just into this corner square here to simulate what's called oil canning. He said oil can. So quite often when you weld a patch panel into a vehicle, you end up putting too much heat into it when you're welding it in. And then what happens is it actually crowns out. So it'll actually sit proud of the panel and you don't want that. So you get that like oil can sound that You'll get that sound right there, which is what you don't want. And it'll actually be in the panel the whole time. So the way you do that is you were actually gonna start heating this metal in very specific spots and then basically quenching it with compressed air and it'll actually cause the metal to shrink. And you just wanna give it just a little bit of heat and then immediately cool it. A little bit of heat. Is it doing it? Careful, it'll be really hot. <laughs> no matter how hard I push on that, the oil can sound is gone. That's fixed. Now another solid tip is going to be sooting up a bowl. You've got all this stuff that comes out of acetylene. You won't see this on propylene or propane if you're using it, but all this black soot, I like to call them parachuters or as Bo likes to call them sky snacks. We're gonna use these little sky snacks and just brush the bowl. We've already welded one bolt and you could just, you could just soak it all and just get it all on there, right? And this is like a poor man's anti-spatter. We ran out in our can, but we do have a handy torch around. Now that this soot is all on this bolt, none of those BBs are gonna be able to stick to it. We're still gonna be able to weld through it, but we can't, the BBs aren't gonna stick compared to the bolt that we didn't put the soot on. 205 ACDC hooked up, ready to go with some MIG. Throw some BBs, we got, it's basically snowing on us. Let's burn. Nice. Have ground. Now we got our bolt welded up, nice and solid. See, there's no spatter on it and it's just easy. It just wipes right off and you can thread anything back on it. No damage to any thread whatsoever. It doesn't have to be threads. It's any spatter, basically. This is an old trick that I learned from a sheet metal guy. When you're working with aluminum and you want to form it, you basically want to do what's called annealing it. Now, if we want to just, you know, basically put some beads on this aluminum, it's fine to work just as it comes into the shop. But if we were to want maybe build a gas tank or a fender out of this and we want to form it a lot, put a lot of movement into it, we want to anneal it. And to do that, we want to heat the sheet to a very specific temperature, more importantly, a uniform te temperature across the entire thing. So by sooting it up with just the acetylene on there, what'll happen now is as I heat it up with the rosebud, the acetylene will burn off at a constant temperature. And that way I can ensure that this sheet will be the same temperature all across it. And it basically aligns the molecules at a molecular, uh, molecular level and makes the sheet a lot easier to use. <laughs> We're gonna use a rosebud. So we sooted it up with just the rosebud, just with just acetylene. And now all we're gonna do is just basically work on burning that acetylene off. You can actually see the sheet already starting to move around because it's so thin. <laughs> Come on, go away. 
There it goes. Cameraman jump. See that? <laughs> Got me good. <laughs> so now we'll actually let it cool before we work it. But at this point, the sheet is technically annealed and it will just make it take shape a lot easier. When it cools down, it'll actually end up back as a flat sheet. I like turtles. I like turtles. That's basically it. Those are three really cool tips for the cutting torch without even cutting a single thing. No cutting. That's why it's not called the cutting torch. It's called the oxy fuel rig. The more you know. There's a sound effect for